All right, what's going on guys? Baller TV back and today we are back with what I think is going to be the greatest Madden franchise series of all time. My brand new series, Road to Greatness. So guys, this episode is all going to be me explaining the rules and how this series works. It's going to be a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them. I'll answer as much as I can. And one more thing, if I forget anything, check the description in the comment section because I might have added on information down there. So enough of the talk, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, let me explain to you how this series works. All right, first things first, before explaining anything, I need to show you my team. Coached by Joe Mama up there in the top right, as you can see, here is the squad we'll be rocking with for this first season. It's horrible. It is horrible. As you can see, it is an entire team based of 60 overall or lower players. I can only use 60 overall or lower for the base team. I'll explain why, but the first thing I want to explain is that, guys, we have three team captains, okay? Our offensive team captain, and they're all rookie players, by the way. Our offensive rookie team captain is Justin Jefferson. That guy is so swaggy, bro. So drippy. Had to get him at receiver. Defensive rookie team captain is Chase Young. And then the special teams team captain is Hot Rod, my boy Specs. Absolute hoss on the special team side of the ball. All right, guys. So basically how this series works, now that you've seen the team and seen the captains, is we have this 60 overall base team with our three captains and we can only upgrade this team by getting points from having good performances. So there will be multiple ways to earn and lose points, obviously. But first, before I do show you that, I wanna show you um, what positions cost what and um, how the overall affects their price. All right, guys, so what should be popping up right now should be a graph that shows you from 0 to 74 overall in one category all the way to 95 to 99 the top category on the right so that is what i've ranked the players i've ranked them in six overall categories and then i've ranked in my opinion on madden five categories one to five one being most important five being least of positions and where i think their importance matters in madden so obviously i think qb is the most important position in madden i feel like that's kind of a no-brainer and qb is the most important position in football. So guys, let's just make an example to hopefully explain this to you a bit better. If I wanted to get a 99 overall Patrick Mahomes, I would go to QB on the graph you see right now and go all the way to 95 to 99. And that would show he would cost me 60 points. Now there's one kicker. So that should make sense to you guys. If it doesn't, just comment. I'll try to explain that a bit better. But there's one kicker to all of that is that development does change price. So if a player is a star development, they have an extra point added onto their price. Superstar, three points. And X Factor is an additional five points. So if you want a 99 overall, X Factor Patrick Mahomes at quarterback, it would be a 65 point purchase. I hope that makes sense, guys. So basically the gist of it is I have to decide, do I want to go after superstars and spend all my points to try to save up and get good players? Or do I want to raise the floor of this team first before going after the best players. Now guys, the one kicker is, the goal is to make this team as good as possible by the end of Madden 21. When as many Super Bowls, you know, just be as successful as possible, the one kicker to all of that is when I win a Super Bowl, I get to keep one player on my team permanently. So Justin Jefferson, Chase Young, and Hot Rod, all three will always be on my team the entire series. Now, when I win a Super Bowl, I get to pick one player from my team, and I never lose that player either. So it's kind of like a prestige thing that's kind of a bit of a ripoff of MMG's Wheel of Mutt. I know that you've probably seen some series as similar to this, guys, but I promise you, this is all authentic. I spent three nights working on this, so that is just one more kicker I wanted to throw out there. All right, guys, so now that you've seen uh, how much players cost, you know, quarterbacks being the most expensive, highest overalls obviously being the most expensive, what should be popping up on your screen next is ways to earn points. So basically, guys, I'm not going to go into depth about it all, but every single week there is an opportunity to earn points based on how we play in that game. So winning the game gives you the most points. Having an offensive or defensive player of the week also gives you a lot. And then based on our offensive yards, how many yards we get if we hit our quotas, every touchdown's a point, 
those are all ways to earn points. And defensively, if we hold them to a certain amount of yards, we get some turnovers. Those give us points as well. And then if we have the leading rusher or receiver in yards, leading sack or tackle leader, we get points for that as well. So I wanted to make as many ways as possible to get points because I want this series to be very unique. I want every episode to be authentic, be something new, and just be a progressive series that gets better and better the longer we go on in Madden. And guys, I really feel like we have a good opportunity to have a great series on our hands here. All right, so while there are ways to earn points, you guessed, I'm sure there's ways to lose points. I did want to make a ton of ways to lose points because this team is so bad. And we need to be able to at least get better, you know, relatively quickly. So the only ways to lose points are losing the game, losing three points, uh, an interception thrown, a fumble loss, or giving up a certain amount of yards or points will lose me points. Now, one thing I do want to say about points, guys, is that they do hold over. So let's say, you know, I get 20 points in one game. I can spend all 20 points if I want to that week, or I can just save up my points and then progressively work towards making purchases of higher overalls. All right, guys, and then one more thing that should be popping up here. There are going to be yearly points for awards. So obviously, MVP, Coach of the Year, and a rookie, or a Player of the Year, Rookies of the Year, best player at their position all earns be points then being the best team in the nfl being a conference champ or a divisional champ will earn me points additionally now guys there is one thing here that is kind of a loophole i thought but i decided the best way to go about it was draft picks are going to be a great way to improve this team um, but i want to make sure to find the best way possible to make it you know interactive and fun and what I've decided to do is that in the playoffs, we earn double points. And I can obviously spend those double points on players if I want to to try to win that Super Bowl because the goal is obviously to win as many Super Bowls as possible. But um, if I want to instead save those points up, I can buy draft picks. And what should be popping up on your screen right about now is the cost per draft pick. So first round picks are 30 points, second round are 20, thirds 10, and anything fourth through seven is five points. I wanted to make those pretty expensive because having a good draft pick will be a huge boost to a very bad team. And I wanted to make sure that it was hard to get them. All right, guys, I'm almost done explaining things, I promise. But a few more things I wanted to explain. First of all is the 21-point wheel. So I picked 21 because it's about in the middle. It's right in the middle of the overalls, and it's right between... Uh, 80 to 84 and 85 89 for our middle category so i picked i figured 21 would be about perfect for what i want to do here so guys the thing with the 21 uh, point wheel spin is it picks a random position so it could be the quarterback position or it could be kicker or punter i mean it could be good or it could be bad it, and if the first wheel will give me my position so that'll give me like i said quarterback running back whatever it may be and the second wheel spin will give me my overall so I could end up with a 74 overall punter, or I could end up with a 60 overall quarterback. So that's just one kicker I wanted to throw in to make things a bit interesting. I, If you like that, let me know. If you don't, I can take it out. All right, guys, the next thing I want to talk about is my plan with this is since this series is going to be hopefully very progressive and very long. I didn't want to play multiple 16 game seasons. That's just too much. So my idea is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sim the first eight games of the season every year. There's no trade deadline, by the way, so I can get the players that we need to get by buying them with points. There will be no deadline, so it won't matter about that if you're worried about that. But my goal is to, yeah, sim the first eight. No matter where we're at, I have to do as good as I can in the last eight to get us to the playoffs. I think that should make things a bit harder on me and a lot more fun. And also, it's less boring gameplay. It's, it's less regular season gameplay and hopefully a lot more of the playoffs. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. I think it's a great idea personally, but obviously, your guys' uh, decision is the most important to me. All right, guys, I might be forgetting a few things, like I said, but I think the last thing before I do this outro here is I have one more kicker I think you guys, especially my loyal subs, are going to absolutely love. So every single week, I, or every, not every single week, but every single episode, I want you guys in the comments to comment a challenge for me. And if I complete your challenge, I get five points. Now you're probably wondering how I'm gonna pick the challenges. So guys, what I need you guys to do is start this video. Give me a challenge for the first game right now in the comments. Go comment it right now. Let me know what you wanna see me do in the next game for five points. Could be fullback touchdown, could be fake punt, it could be anything. And if I do it, I get five points. 
but my, my thing I was gonna say is that the, the one I'm gonna pick is the one that is most like. So whichever one you guys upvote the most will be the challenge I do. So make sure to stay interactive in the comments, guys. Make sure to like the challenge you wanna see, and that is the challenge I will have to do in the next game. And I know you guys, some of you are loyal as hell out there. I know I'll have at least one challenge for every game, and I appreciate you guys so much for that. All right, guys, the last rule I wanna talk about for the Road to Greatness, our brand new series, is so obviously you can see we have a 60 overall base team besides our three captains. Every time I win a Super Bowl, I can raise it by five. So after my first Super Bowl win, I'll have, you know, my three uh, players and then I'll have my one prestiged guy and then the base team will be 65 overall to help make things a bit easier as we move along. And one more thing, guys, like let's say this year we go like four and 12, which is probably going to happen considering how bad we are. The players that I get, I don't lose. They carry over until the next season, until we win a Super Bowl. And then once we win the Super Bowl, that's when everyone's gone except for one player. So it's kind of like MMG's Wheel of Mutt series. That's where my main inspiration for this comes from. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. I am more than happy to answer them. All right, guys, so yeah, that is going to do it. I'm sure I forgot about something important, but like I said, check the comments, and if I forgot anything that I realized while editing this video, I will comment in the comments and pin it so you guys know what's going on. I know I threw a lot at you here, but try to keep up. Come back to this video if you need to, and you can always reach out to me in my comments or on my Twitter DMs, my Instagram DMs. Both of those links are in the description, and I'm always more than happy to explain whatever you guys need explained to, explained to you. That being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I am so pumped. I want this series to be the new face of my channel. I'll keep the other series going, but I want this one to be the top one. I'm so pumped to get started. I'm going to give you guys one day to comment anything you want to see in the series, anything you want to see differently. I'll take everything into account. I can't promise you I'll make the change you want to see, but I will promise you that I will at least consider it. So like I said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. The first episode of this should be out on Monday. Stay uh, looking forward to that, and I will catch you guys all in that video.